see the picture of liquid blood taken in a test tube. When a small quantity of blood is allowed to settle in a test tube or on a glass plate, a part of it becomes solid. This is called clot. Rest of the blood is in fluid form and floats about the clot. This fluid is called serum. The solid part of the blood consists of cells called corpuscles. Blood performs many functions in the body. It transports oxygen from lungs to various parts of the body and also transports carbon dioxide from various parts of the body to lungs. Blood transports water, salts and digested food materials from the intestine to various parts of the body. Blood transports substances called hormones from endocrine glands to other body parts. Blood helps in maintaining uniform body temperature, water and salt content of the body. Clean a needle and the tip of your finger with alcohol. Prick your finger with needle. Spread out one drop of blood on a glass slide and observe the various cells of blood under a powerful microscope. We find plasma which contains 90% water. It transports hormone, urea, protein, nutrients, salts and waste products. We find corpuscles or cells. Erythrocytes are round, flat, disc-like and biconcave cells. They have no nucleus. The red blood cells are produced in the bone marrow. They do not live long in the body. They live for 100 or 150 days and then they degenerate, disintegrate and disappear. New cells are formed in the place of dead cells. Hemoglobin is a large molecule. It contains protein molecule and four atoms of iron. White blood corpuscles or leukocytes are comparatively larger and are irregular in shape like amoeba. It has a nucleus. The number of leukocytes in the body is 4 to 11,000 per cubic millimeter. They capture and destroy harmful and disease causing organisms in the body. They protect the body from harmful effects of these germs. In the battle between the leukocytes and the invading germs, some leukocytes get killed. The other leukocytes remove the dead germs from the body in the form of pus. These leukocytes act as scavenger or policemen of the body. Blood platelets or thrombocytes are helpful in the formation of blood clot. They have no nucleus. When some portion of the body is cut, blood oozes out. Thrombocytes help in the formation of the clot. Clot formation prevents the loss of blood during injuries. Oxygenated blood, which is pure blood, flows through arteries and deoxygenated blood, which is impure blood, flows through veins. <laughs> 